Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. I not only read this on a weekend, but I picked it out of the pile. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 135, NASDAQ up 114, S&P's up 21. Gold, gold contract down $8.10, trading at 2,055 an ounce. You get silver, flat, $24.63 an ounce, late sweet crude. Down 45 cents, $73.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down three ticks, trading 112.21. The 30-year off uh, 12 ticks at 124 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 524 ticks at 101.884. Euro 109, yen 142, British pound 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. I want to show you something here. This is pretty cool. So that 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 you know, downdraft yesterday, that's selling in the market, folks. Bottom line, man, we we were talking about it. You know, the bottom line couldn't find anything out there. Well, when markets go down, people are selling. When markets go up, they're buying. Let me just show you this though. This isn't a zero day options, okay? If you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see, these are the trades right here. Now, what's going to be so interesting about this, someone came in the marketplace, they bought thousands of contracts of the 4755 and 4765 S&Ps, okay? Now, this is what the intriguing part about it. Now, remember something. So, so there it is right there. There's the trades, right? Now, what's intriguing is this. So what happens is this is that option market makers, period, have to be delta neutral. The ones that aren't delta neutral get basically taken out, and that's it. So when that trade goes on, ASAP, you get a sell against that trade because we're talking about 47.55 to 47.65, and you can see right now we're at 47.71. So the intriguing part about this one, and you got to remember something, you're paying a premium for these, okay? The intriguing part is that if that trade wasn't closed yesterday, both of those trades are out of the money right now because it's an expiration for today. So this is going to get really interesting coming into the close, man, because if it, you get the gist, because if it's not closed, then it's like, okay, you know, you can force a hand here. So I wanted to just bring this up so you can really understand when you have selling, you have selling flat out. You're buying, and if you remember, when we were talking about this yesterday, it was, I'm saying to myself, man, okay, hold it. The notes and bonds haven't moved, and the dollar hasn't moved. Well, bottom line, that's because it was one monster trade. Sold it down. That's typical of two different things. That you have a market, we know that's extended, number one. Number two, though, you get a market that's coming into a holiday, and it's a lot easier to move markets around. You know, that was a monster out there yesterday, though. So we'll see what ends up happening today. That's what it comes down to. Um, but right now, those, both those, unless that trade was closed, and there's no evidence yet that that trade is actually closed, which is going to be kind of wild. But, it, it, you know, it, it's, hey, I, I just wanted to bring it up so you can see how this whole thing shakes out. We're going to take a look at the, um, we bring the SPY up, period. And what you're going to see out here, now is that you know you got down to 468 today, rejected 468. You're at 470, 65. So this still looks like guess what? You're going to go for these highs once again. We go to the queues. We do the same type of exercise in the queues, and you're going to get the same deal, man. You know, which is pretty wild. You know, so inside the queues, we went down to 404. You rejected 404. You're at 406. And in both cases, now this is what's really wild. In both cases, they were going into the high volume bars of the past Friday. And the NDX did break that. 
ended up rejecting it, but it broke it. You know, volume wasn't bigger. Inside so the SPY, what happened is that you didn't get to the, you didn't get to the, well, you might have got right to it, actually. But the volume was tremendously lighter. You know, so the bottom line, that, that hasn't affected your ABC structure up inside of these markets, which is pretty wild, man. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt. Uh, some of the high volume equities out here today. Well, here, no, let's go look at the IWM because what I, what I was saying earlier when I just did the update, the IWM, the Russell 2000, okay, is going to be having the zero day options that are going to expire Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting on January 8th. Now, the thing that's amazing to me about the IWM is that what happens at the IWM, folks, at the closes, these, the IWM, for some reason, at, at the close, this doesn't happen every day, but it happens a lot, is that you can either have huge buys or huge sells. So if you do trade these options that expire every day, I would say you can have to be really careful with the IWM. I, I don't. I would. I would stay with the S and P myself. You could. You know. If you like the Nasdaq, you do the Nasdaq. But um, the spy options that expire every day are not only liquid. You, you know, harder to push around. This IWM. This is going to get pushed around, man, because it already gets pushed around at the opens and closes. Um, in a monster way, and once these things come out on the IWM, uh, you know, if you're right, of course, yeah, because the IWM could put some huge juice in at the closes, and it does. That's that's the bottom line. It, it does. You know, uh, you get the Dow. Dow's up 168. Nasdaq's up uh, 130. S and P's are up uh, 26. And you know, you can expect it's going to run right into the close again. You know, and we'll see what ends up happening with those two trades. Uh, you know, they could have closed them yesterday and made a fortune right off the bat. Maybe they did. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.